Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we will be using a synthetic division to divide these given polynomials. And once again this is a special case because we are dividing by a trinomial. Before we do synthetic division I went ahead and did the long division first to help you out. I want you to pause this video and see how I did this long division. Before we perform synthetic division, I want to make sure that you take care of any missing term. In our case, since x squared is missing, so I put down zero time x squared. Just keep in mind. And the second thing I want to make sure that both dividend and divisors must be in descending order. And one more thing, make sure that the leading coefficient of our divisor must be 1. And in this case, for sure, this is 1. So we are in a good shape. So let's go ahead and start performing synthetic division. So here I put down all the coefficients, as you can see, of this dividend, 1, 4, 0, 1, and negative 10. And now I want you to focus on the divisor over here. Let's look at this number, which is what? Negative 5. The opposite sign of this is going to be what? 5, isn't it? Positive 5 or 5. I want you to put down 5 right up here on the top. And then I want you to look at this coefficient over here of x, which is positive 3. So the opposite sign of this one is going to be negative 3. So this is going to come over here at the second place, negative 3 over here. So just keep in your mind. So the next thing we want to make sure, so this one, I want you to leave it as it is. So one is going to show up right up here. And then likewise, this 4 is going to be right up here. So now what I want you to do is I want you to multiply this negative 3 times 1. When you multiply negative 3 times 1, you put the answer in the same row. Which box is this one? Since this is in the same row, I want you to put down negative 3 right up here. And likewise, over here, this 5 is going to multiply with this 1 as well. So 5 times 1 is going to be 5. And that's 5 is going to be in that same row. So that's going to be right up here. So 4 and negative 3, when you add them, it's going to give you 1. And then 0 and 5, when you add them, that's going to give you 5. So the next thing we're going to perform exactly same thing once again. Negative 3 times 1 is going to be negative 3. It's going to be right up here. And likewise, 5 is going to multiply with this 1. And this 5 times 1 is going to be a 5 right up here. 5 and negative 3 is going to give you 2. And 1 plus 5 is going to give you 6. Once again, we're going to multiply negative 3 times 2 is going to be negative 6 right up here. And likewise, 5 times 2 is going to be 10 right up here. So once again, you can see 6 and negative 6 is going to yield 0 and negative 10 and 10 is going to, when you add them, it's going to give you 0. So this is, 0 is going to show up as it is. So that means these zero zeros are our remainder R. So next thing is going to be what? So this is going to be x square. This is going to be x and this is going to be a constant without x. So what we got so far, so we got 1 times x squared is going to be a 1x squared plus 1x and this is going to be plus 2. And that is our complete 
answer. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.